Shalom, Shalom. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Radash. Uh, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth. Uh, salutations to the Akian that's out there on the highways and the byways teaching this word in all truth and sincerity. Uh, salutations to the hopeful elect <clears throat> and a strong shalom to the aqua out there sitting and listening. This is your brother Amath Ya'ais from Yahawada coming at y'all with another enduring uh, lesson. I had to meditate on this lesson. I actually wanted to bring um, this lesson out last night, but the, uh, the elders and the apostles were, you know, uh, doing live streams and uh, also putting out lessons last night and you know you have to uh, review those lessons and you know to to, to, to basically uh, <clears throat> uh, sometimes uh, maybe maybe to help you the lesson that you're gonna put out and which was the actual thing that the most high did for me uh, yesterday was have me preserve myself to do my lesson for today because uh, 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 elder apostle Tahar came out with a beautiful lesson. Uh, I want to say either this morning or last night about um, the foolery of these uh, bugged out Christians, man. And also he did a lesson on um, uh, what is it? Uh, the the, uh, the 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 boat situation with Russia and uh, the U.S. Uh, and also the, the brother from uh, South Carolina did a, a, a excellent live stream last night on um, meditation and. Uh, keeping yourself in the spirit and you know correcting yourself and always examining yourself which was a very edifying lesson last night brother Tawada for that and Tawada Elder uh, Tahar for your uh, lessons that I that I've received from last night and today uh, but without further ado I wanted to get on um this uh these these two demons going at each other uh, basically with this with this uh what this demon had said about uh what polite uh, basically said was 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 basically true uh that christianity was brought through a, oppression and slavery which is a whole a cold hard fact and i'm going to bring out scripture and if you notice these christians do not use no scriptures when they explain stuff they don't use no precepts nothing they go off their own vain opinions well i'm about to debunk this bama and uh the elder uh tahar could have did it itself but you know sometimes uh the elders and the apostles leave gaps open for other brothers to you know, uh, do lessons on certain things that they left out purposely, not because they don't know it. They, they, they sometimes, I mean, the way I say it, they sometimes do it purposely so other brothers can fill in those gaps and edify the, edify the sheep because not everybody has the same followers that everybody else has. But I'm, I'm going to just let a second of what this clown is going to say, and then I'm going to um, exit off because I don't want y'all to become retired of what he's saying. But go ahead and listen, listen to this real quick. On this, but I couldn't just bypass his rhetoric and his false logic. See, what he's referring to is the idea that black people were introduced to Christianity from the white man while they were in slavery. What? This couldn't be any more stupid. Think about this. Okay, let's say... Okay, what you saying right now, uh, brother, which you are my brother, but you don't know, you're just in a, a, a docile mind state and you, you're going against the law, your, your head's bald, your face is damn near bald. That's the 100% truth of what Polite just said. Polite just uh, debunked you on not even using the scriptures, just general damn knowledge. General damn knowledge. Well, guess what, brother? We about to make you look stupid. We about to make you look very stupid. And where am I going to go? Deuteronomy 28. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Christians always want to use their own vain opinion and vain thought. Now, and I'm going to come out, come out with three precepts to debunk what this clown is saying. Okay? Let me get to it. Bear with me. Let me get to it. Okay. I think this is one of them right here I want. All right. This is uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 36. And it reads this. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, and there, and there shall thou serve other gods, wood and stone. Now, what did they use for the cross? Wood. Okay? And what, 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 does, what does the stone represent? The stone represents that Islamic religion, 
with that compass stone that they always walk around and pray and kiss and touch. Okay? And, and it's very, it's very, very, very uh, proven fact that the wood is a, 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 a representative of Christianity. Okay? Hard, hardcore fact. Very hardcore fact. You cannot get around with that. Okay? So... So that so 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 this wasn't brought upon upon with slavery. Yeah, like I thought. Well, I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. I'm not done yet, sir. All right. So this is Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, and this is verse sixty-four, and it reads this. And the and the Lord the and the Lord the Most High shall scatter thee among among the all people. Salaki, let me start that over again. And the and and the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Why is it repeating itself? Salakia. Why is it repeating itself? Why is it why is it repeating itself? So lucky. Bear with my, my computer's acting up. Bear with me. Why is it repeating itself? Why? You Christians don't know the Bible, man. Plain and simple, man. So lucky. I went to the wrong daggone chapter. Hold on. Bear with me, uh, Yasharala. Ah. Uh, bear with me one second. Man, everything's gonna act up when I do the lesson, man. That's Satan, man. That's Satan because I know I'm about Satan. Know I'm, I'm about to prove him wrong. That's all that is. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 16, I believe. I think this is the chapter I'm looking for. Yeah, this is the chapter I'm looking for. We're going to drop down to all right we're going to drop down as uh, this is going to be jeremiah chapter 16 verse th 13 and it reads this therefore i will cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not Neither your neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night. Will where where I show you where Shlakia, where I will not show you favor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on going down. Uh, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Jehovah, that it shall no more be said, The Lord liveth that devil is acting up, man. Slack. Let me read it again. Verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Jehovah, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the, out of the land of Egypt. Verse 15. But the Lord Jehovah liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And from all the lands whither he hath driven them, and I will bring them again into the into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So what the hell are you talking about, dude? What are you talking about? As a matter of fact, you know, let me let me uh let me let me go to this real quick. Let me go to this real quick. Cause I, I gotta bring this out too, man. Cause this this is exactly what you Christians do, man. <clears throat> this is Proverbs chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Plain and simple. Y'all despise the word. Y'all add to the word. Y'all do everything y'all can to make the word look crazy. Let me. I got one more too. Let me see if I can find it. Bear with me. Hold on. Yeah, here it is, right? Ah, uh, come on. Damn devils is working me. Here it is right here. This is uh 
Yeah, this is Revelations uh, chapter 22, verse 18. And it reads this. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these. Damn the devil, man. Let me start that over again. Revelation 22, uh, verse 18, and it reads this. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues that are written in the book. And the Christians, as you know, the Christians so-called twist words, put, you know what I'm saying, say how they want to say and misconstrue the scriptures, man. We don't we don't add nothing into the scriptures, man. We go off what the scriptures say, man. Point blank, period. We we read the book to you. We tell you what the book says. We don't go off our own vain opinion. You can go into church right now, and I, I pro I, man, I bet you everything I have in my bank account, everything I have in my pocket. I bet you I bet you whatever that I bet you that the that the pastors, the reverends, all the deacons, all of them is going off their own vain opinion and they're not reading out the book, man. They might read one, one precept, just one, and that's it. You don't learn nothing in the church. All you, you I, I bet you know all the songs, though. You, only, you know all the Christian songs, though. But, you know what I'm saying, with that, man, I, I just wanted to debunk that, man, because that's straight folly, uh, blasphemy and uh, folly, man, to say that Christianity was the, 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 the main religion uh, before any time. And that's no, that's no such thing, man. Matter of fact, Tell me what this means, Christians, since y'all know everything. Matter of fact, let me go. Let me go to it. Let me go to it real quick. This is going to be the last one. I'm going to close out. Since y'all know everything, tell me what this means. Because y'all say God love everybody and, and it's uh, and, and, and the kingdom's for everybody, right? Okay. Well, tell me what this means. Because this is the, this is the, the second to last book. In, in, in the Bible, which is Revelation 21. This is Revelation 21, verse 12, and it reads this. And had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates, and at the 12, 12, Salaki, and at the gates 12 angels, and names written thereon, which were, are the names of the